Hey, thanks for watching. I was recently asked if it's possible to add an other income line item or an operating expense line item to the Opstat tab of either the multifamily or ORI module. And out of the box, it's not possible, but doing so manually isn't especially difficult. So I thought I'd walk you through the steps to do that. So the first step is you'll want to insert a row. Uh, let's imagine we're adding an operating expense line item. You'll want to insert a row in both the annual uh, cash flow section as well as the monthly cash flow section in the exact same position. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. Um, let's imagine that we want to add an operating expense line item. We'll just come in here and anywhere in the middle of our operating expenses, it can't be at the top and it can't be at the bottom, it needs to be in the middle and that ensures that our sum uh, uh, row continues to work properly. But let's imagine we want to add it here. I select the entire row, right click, set insert, and now I've inserted a row. I'm not gonna do anything else yet between general and administrative and utilities. I come down here and on utilities, I select that entire row, right click and choose insert such that I've now inserted a row again between general and administrative and utilities. The next step is within the monthly section of the cash flows. I'm just going to copy either of the rows, either the general administrative or the utilities, it doesn't matter. Copy, select our blank row that we just recently inserted and control V to paste. Now you'll notice that it automatically fills in a label. And that's because these labels by default are pulling from our MF settings tab and we'll be overriding that. So I'm just going to change this color to red to remember that this has been overridden. And I'm gonna come up here. I'll do the same thing within the annual section, copy and paste. And again, it goes utilities. I'm gonna change this to red. I'm gonna change the name, I'll for now just call it new op, OPEX item, All right, whatever that may be. And I'll come back down here and I'll just link this equals our new OPEX item. And with that, we've added an operating expense line item. These uh, formulas in this new uh, row should pull from the new row in the monthly that uh, we had also inserted. And everything should copy down correctly so long as you inserted your rows in the order that I showed you. Uh, so if you have any questions, actually let me just quickly add one to other income. Again, I grab a, a row in between the top and the bottom. So let's say this one here, insert, come down to utility reimbursement, right click insert. And I'll just grab that, copy, paste. It really doesn't matter which order we do this copy, paste in. Copy, paste. Change this to red. Link this to the new item and the other income. Come up here, call this other income item. Something like that. Change it to red so I remember. And this here, I guess I'll change to blue so it can be its own item. And with that, we have added a row. Let's confirm, come down here. Yeah, so that's pulling from that 72,000, good. And so that's how easy it is. Uh, let me know if you have any further questions on this.